have you been hope you are good welcome back to my channel this is Gemma Ruby's teachings and nice having you here if you haven't subscribed to this channel please and please I'm watching us to do so because we'll be missing a lot if we don't and also on this channel we are family so you won't want to miss being the family of Gemma Ruby's teachings so let's get started to the business of today today i'm coming on camera like seeing my face for the first time so i'm nice meeting everybody this is my face and this is the face behind the Ruby stitches please support this channel by sharing liking the video and also subscribing to this channel thank you very much yeah today i'll start by sharing crochet tips on this channel we know basic it's basically for crocheting tutorial so i decided to include crochet tips as well you just can't keep on learning without having any kind of motivator or to motivators in whatever it is we are doing at least there should be something that is cheering us up isn't it yeah so today i'll be sharing with us the health benefits of crocheting yeah, it's not a lie when they said crocheting is a lifelong uh, craft. Yeah, because it has a lot of health benefits. To say a few, I would like to dive into it today. Then let's move on. Yeah, crocheting, as I said, is a craft that when you are into it, it boosts serotonin. So, what is serotonin? Serotonin is a pain reliever on its own. It's a natural pain reliever. It's an hormone that is secreted from the brain. So when you are in pain, you are stressed, you, are, you have anxiety, and you are just tired of it all, all you need to do is just sit down and get your crochet hook and your yarn. Then you start crocheting. And believe me, just forget about the pain because the serotonin will be suiting like the serotonin hormone will cause some certain effect that will calm you it will calm your brain it will calm your body and then you start feeling okay so that is the first benefit and this first benefit benefit will lead us to the second which is uh benefit also or crocheting also help in eating insomnia insomnia is uh, a situation whereby you find it so hard to sleep so and that is it happens it doesn't it's also happen during the day when you find it so hard to sleep like it's a kind of distress on its own so when you feel this insomnia you just stand up get your hook and start crocheting then when this cause the post in serotonin then you start feeling calm you feel the soothing uh energy then you'll be able to sleep so anytime when next to you start tossing around on the bed turning from left to right and you aren't able to sleep just put on your light then you start crocheting and believe me it will work so that is the second tip so the third tip is that crocheting helps in putting you in control it helps you to be in control it helps you in what way is that when you crutch it you crutch it with your hand you command that your hand to make whatever it is you want to make it helps you in making the craft you're making easily so which means you are the one dictating at that point in time whereas you are the one in control you control what is happen what is happening at that point in time i'm sorry so that puts you practically in control so you'll be happy that yes i'm in control of what is happening to me right now so why can't i be in control of other stuffs so crocheting helps you and also puts you in control number three the fourth one is that crocheting relieves depression yeah people get depressed when they start rumin ruminating on a lot of stuffs they start thinking and thinking and thinking and you yourself you don't even know what has to do you you don't even know what you are doing anymore you sleep out of control that is depression like you are depressed 
you want to know what text to do what is going on with your life so don't be don't get i mean don't believe you've already lose hope no there's still some hope pray pray to god and also walk towards it so when you want to walk towards it then you bring in your creature team it really helps a lot so all you need to do is just to do some stuff wherever when you start making that's beautiful crochet work like you just keep on doing something and something yes you feel you are in control of this then the depressed body the depressed part in you will start getting calm like you'll be okay you just be nice like i do say crochet is therapeutic there are a lot of people that when they go for therapy, male, female, they will tell them after all the therapy session, just find something doing. And for you to find something doing, then you have to do something that will really make you happy. Then you'll be like, okay, let me just do some stuff. Like, let me create something. Yeah, you're a crocheter. Let me create something beautiful. And after making all that stuff, like you'll be like, yes, I did this. The, the stuff will be very beautiful. It might not even be beautiful, but you just be happy within yourself that you are able to make it. And that is it. That is just what we need. So just try anytime you are depressed, like you feel so bored, you think nobody is with you. Then what is your hook and yarn doing? Lying down, doing nothing. All you need to do is just to get it and start working with it. You are good to go. So, thank you. Uh, and that will be the fourth, the fourth benefit. Okay. So now to the fifth one, and this one is that crocheting helps in memory loss. It helps in retaining your memory, rather. Don't let me put it that way. Because uh, when you are crocheting, it's about you going through the same channel like you following the same procedure okay if i want to make a baby blanket and i'm like this blanket i want everything to be in a uh, double crochet so which means well after making my chain i'll continue making a dc all true which means i'll be following the same procedure all along why doing this then you help uh be sending a message to your brain this is something and your brain when you keep on doing something on and on on and on that is uh the let me say this is the principle that's attached to someone making uh trying to cram something when you keep on reading reading and reading and reading that same line you'll see that the thing will stick permanently like naturally the thing will stick so that is just like crocheting. When you keep on doing the same thing on and um, like continually, the thing will stick normally. And even there's no way, even if you stop it for a while and you want to start again, normally you remember. So it helps your brain. It helps you to keep your brain in a normal and in a steady way. Like you keep on remembering everything. So because you follow the same procedure. So that is also an, uh, an health benefit of crocheting. And the last one, the last, which is not the least, is that crocheting helps in self-esteem. It helps in increasing your self-esteem. In, yeah, in a case whereby um, there's someone with a very low self-esteem. You know what a low self-esteem is like? Everybody is doing this. Why can't I do it? Like... I don't belong to their crew. They they are just too good. They are this, they are that. No, don't believe to yourself. Don't believe you can't do it as well. They started from somewhere, so why can't you? You can, that is for sure. You can do it perfectly well, even more than them. That is if you have a trust in yourself. So this is where crocheting will now help you. It increases your self-esteem because it's something you make with your hand. It's an handmade. And I think this doesn't only apply to crocheting. It applies to a lot of handmade things. Like if you're a fashion designer, if you make carpentry work, 
be proud of what you're doing so back to crocheting because we are talking about crocheting here so don't let us digress yeah so you make some crochet piece with your hand and you sell you don't even sell you show it to people and people are like wow this is lovely so you made this this is beautiful yes and your head will start swelling like yes i did this and people are pressing me so when they start pressing you yes you did this this is lovely no you are just a good uh, you're a gifted person you, you are this you are that and that thing starts getting into you don't let it get into you too much yeah. <laughs> and the thing started getting into you so even that inferiority complex you will even you yourself will put it to one side like people can press me this way even if people doesn't praise you can praise yourself yes i did this make yourself happy this is my handiwork i made it myself with with without any supervision or even with supervision you made it with your hand nobody help you with it then you start feeling happy that yeah i can make this thing so why am i inferior if they are good at this side then i'm good in this as well if they can talk if they are eloquent if they can say anything at any time me myself i can make crochet in as well i can crochet any piece and mind you if you can crochet crochet any piece it's normal and that is when you carve a niche for yourself like you're like okay some people are making baby wheels I decide to make lingeries I decide to 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 stick to adult wheels because that is what I want so when you see me make bag tutorials that's because people actually ask for it it's not that you won't know anything about it but you just carve an inch you aren't a machine you can't do everything you just have to carve an inch and you know that okay this is where I want to belong this is what I want to be doing this is what I want them to know me with then we are good to go so like i said build self-esteem so if you are there today watching this video and you haven't subscribed should i forgive you <laughs> all right so if you are there and you are depressed you are a great creditor and you are depressed you are depressed to the extent that people have st started begging, started praying for you. When you have a beautiful craft at hand, you are actually not doing it right. If you are there and you feel like you you don't you don't belong, you have a very low self esteem and you are a crocheter, you aren't doing it right. If you are there and you think you can't learn because you have a very low retaining memory, it is a lie. You can do it once you're ready to uh, to help yourself with all this benefits of crocheting. If you think you have insomnia and it has been a big problem for you and you aren't able to sleep all along, just forget about it. This is now a new therapy for you. So thank you very much for watching. I believe uh, this video is helpful enough. Isn't it awful? Don't mind me, I'm too playful. So, if you find this video helpful, please and please try to give it a thumbs up and try to share with your friends that really need this. Share, subscribe, like, and keep on being a family on Gemma and Stitches channel. Thank you very much. See you next time on another kind of tips and i believe it will be very very lovely so stay tuned bye bye see you next time bye